Hello, thanks for joining me for this longer term weather outlook. We started this week with 19 degrees as a high in Norfolk and plenty of sunshine here helped to push the temperatures up. Now there's plenty more sunshine to come as we look at the days ahead. However, what a change in temperatures even in the space of 24 hours down 6 degrees for Tuesday afternoon and then those figures continue to taper away on into the weekend. Not just East Anglia though, sitting in cooler air, in fact the whole of the UK. The colder air is coming to us from the Arctic around an area of high pressure, so it's basically feeding in on an easterly wind and it will stay with us through until at least next weekend. So our outlook turning chillier for sure, a risk of frost, particularly Tuesday night and Wednesday night, but a very settled scene as high pressure establishes. Now, currently we do have a weather front to the south, but the high will be keen to push that away in the coming days as it extends further south. We're feeding the air in on the southern flank of that high, so hence that easterly breeze and that chilly feel to proceedings. Here we are on Tuesday with the front still to the south, however, so quite a wet story actually with some fairly intense rain at times for some southern counties of England and for South Wales. Further north, much brighter skies, still though some murk along the North Sea coast, still the easterly breeze as well, keeping things feeling chilly here. But for East Anglia, as I've already promised, a shock to the system really with that six degree drop in temperatures for Tuesday. Further south, we may still get up to around 13 degrees but with the cloud and rain, I think quite a miserable feel all in all. The rain gradually drifts off into the channel through Tuesday evening into the small hours of Wednesday. The sky is clear and to the north we'll see a fairly extensive frost across Scotland, Northern England, some patchy frost for Northern Ireland and for Wales. As for Wednesday daytime, still some thicker clouds just clinging to the south coast, perhaps a little rain for a time, but basically that front continuing to dissolve as the high pressure establishes itself, feeding in some thicker cloud at times to central and eastern areas though, as the easterly breeze continues to be a big player in our weather and again keeping things quite chilly down the east coast. Our highs typically uh, 10 to 13 degrees. Wednesday night into Thursday could be our coldest night of the week with the clearest skies and the lightest winds of frost as far south as the southwest of England. But the clear skies will mean a lot of fine weather around for first thing on Thursday. But through the course of Thursday and Friday, if anything, I think we're going to see more cloud arriving across the UK. So ultimately, the days will be quite similar. Still, we'll have um, a lot of cloud around, temperatures in the low teens, but that risk of overnight frost diminishes. And then going further ahead, so looking at the coming weekend and on into the week ahead of Easter, it's going to remain pretty settled. The high pressure is keen to stay with us, but there's just some signs that we may get something a little warmer heading our way for Easter. So here is our high, and at the moment it looks like it's going to be pretty well established. This low, though, will try and come into play in the week before Easter. Looks like it won't make great inroads into the UK and turn things unsettled, but it could just reorientate the flow to the south of the area of high pressure, and instead of a direct east Easterly, it may switch us into a southeasterly, and if that is the case, you can see what happens. We start to feed warmer air in from across the continent. That may well reach all parts just in time for Easter. So there is the promise of something a little more spring-like after this.